हरि ओम शो मित्र वरुण शो भवत्मा शो इंद्रो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वायुमे प्रचक्ष ब्रह्मासी प्रचक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या कृत वदिष्या सच्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवतु मं अवत वक्ता ओम शांति 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 नव वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम पर्सनालिटी लेवल टू द स्पिरिचुअल लेवल दैट मींस वी आर गोइंग टू द स्पिरिचुअल एस्ट्रॉलॉजी लेवल आल्सो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन वंस वी क्रॉस द पर्सनालिटी लेवल सक्सेसफुली विथ हंड्रेड मार्क्स then we are eligible to go into the soul level or we are allowed to go into the soul level or we will be awakened into the soul level so this is uh, we are going to the a beautiful stage in our life in the classes okay a change has taken place from where from the personality level to the soul level all the acidity in the fruit has changed into sweetness like the bud changes as a flower in the fruit also when it is when it is not so ripe it is so the full of full of acidity and then after some time it will get it will become a fruit with all the sweetness that is the what that, that is what we call the soul level in the individual level it is not a small fruit no, it is not a fruit when we come to the personality level slowly and slowly ripening into the going towards the fruit level at the soul level we are a, a complete fruit then the fruit is with all sweetness the fruit is ripe means we are ripe we are matured we are awakened we are elevated we are illumined right the planets work as help helpers and guides at this stage of the evolution in our life before that in the personality level planets works as police officers sometimes as friends sometimes as officers gives us punishment in the individual level all the time police officers they work with us as the police officers who gives the punishment because there we have we were having only the selfishness and the possessiveness and uh, majorliness and all the limited uh, thinking about only ourselves in the personal level we think about ourselves and we think about others also we get some privileges in the world we get some power we get some money we get good opportunities we get some fame we get lot of things in the personal level but when we misuse them when we try to possess them when to try to understand those things are given to us by our own effort or by the by the good fortune whatever it may be instead of thinking those things are given to us as a as a as a gift from the nature to us to work to help the people to use all these things to the to help the people if you think like that the same planets as police officers try to be with friendly with us when we misuse those opportunities and trying to use all of them for our selfish needs then we will be punished then the same police officers behaves as enemies to us not enemies to us they will they will apply the law on us in the soul level it is not like that because we realized all these things we understood the real nature of the planets we understood the purpose of our birth they understood we understood the angels the devas and the creation the planets the planetary principles we understood everything 
then we we will get the realization then what happens we are ripe the fruit is ripe the planets work as helpers and guides they directly indicate what we have to do to our mind they directly indicate to us to our mind what to do that's it this is the, this is what we call the first thought here is very interesting in the horoscope when the fiery signs are dominating the horoscope what it means many planets are in the fiery signs having good aspects with uh, other other uh, planets or if your ascendant is a fiery sign or sun sign sun is in a fiery sign or moon is in a fiery sign very well placed very well placed means in their own house or exalted house having good aspects with the other planets like jupiter or or mercury or venus any other planet then what we say in the horoscope what we say to the 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 the, the, the concerned person whatever the thought comes to you first that the best thought for you means they will they will have some intuition they will have they will have some insight all of a sudden a thought comes to them and always it is right if they if they try to uh use their critical mind or analytical mind or if you want to if they want to try to discuss with other people whether to do it or not it is not the way for these people what i explain to you now it is all come to you by experience suppose if in the horoscopes where jupiter and mercury are ruling for example then he has to discuss with the other people or he has to analyze for himself he has to think once or twice to jump into actions to go into actions he cannot just like that directly go to the actions so in general mars is ruling when the mars and sun are ruling the horoscope those people they they will get the in the, in the horoscope when they are ruling in in a, in a positive way you remember that when the mars and uh, mars and uh, uh, sun they are ruling the horoscope in a positive way with all the good aspects of other planets they will just get an instinct a flash light then they they will not wait for anybody they will just jump into the actions then they will be very successful if it is otherwise if some other planet is ruling they should not act exactly like the mars and the sun people they have to think and think about it before going into actions these are the things we we we, we will come to know with the experience okay don't uh, uh, at this stage and uh, don't understand uh, uh, with a, with the, with the, with the, the knowledge what we have now it is not so good the planets work as helpers and guides they directly indicate what we have to do to our mind they lead us to situations where we have to behave independently because they find everything safe with us they will allow us to do the things independently because they feel it is very safe with us because there is a discrimination with us there is a will power with us and above all there is a love and liking and a concern towards the uh, nation or towards the people around us so when the love love means without emotion you uh, always remember whenever you use the love it is a pure love not emotion always you remember that we need not uh, repeat one again and again love means it is a universal love without any expectations without any emotions that's it okay so we, we they 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 we have to behave independently because they find everything safe and with us they leave us to ourselves and they honor our decisions that is the state which that is the state which the planets expect of us at the stage our horoscope never reads our incidents <coughs> this is a very wonderful stage in the evolution even one of us definitely we will come to this stage but it it is a long long journey i will i will explain to you exactly what master is what master ek is telling here the planets allow us to do anything in this life independently because they have all faith on us it is for us to prove this is the it is it, it is possible only on the will level are in the 
soul level. So giving independence is not a small thing. Suppose, uh, we, I explained to you many times, because, because when we are so young, <laughs> 10 years old or 5 years old, or whatever, whatever it may be, and somebody will accompany us to take us to the school. Again, they come and they pick up and bring to the home because we cannot go on our own. Right? So, if you wanted to go to market, father and mother, they will follow us, they will accompany us and they will take us to the shopping malls or markets or the parks or to the river or to the ocean. Always they will be there behind us because they will be afraid. If you do something, it will end up with the danger. Suppose if you, if you are grown up, when you come to the 14 or 15 years or 16 years of age, they won't accompany us. We don't like them also to, to accompany us. Because we feel that we can handle the situations. Right? And then we come to a stage when we are married or when we get, when we get a job or we are fully matured and understanding the, understand the world and the loss of the nature and the loss of the government. And then we, we behave much more independently. There the real problem starts. Before that, we have the guidance and the support from the parents or from the elders. But when we are fully grown up, we have to do independently our own work. Then there is a possibility to do the mistakes also. That's the danger. Same thing in the nature also. Same thing happens in the evolution also. If the opportunities are given to us, when opportunity is given to us to live independently with our own discretion, always there is a danger to misbehave against the nature or against the law. But we have to cross or to overcome this situation. If somebody who trained with all a good discipline, following the teachings of the masters, following the scriptures of the ancient nations and try to overcome the emotions and limitations what he is having with him, what are the limitations? All the time behave in a selfish way or with the hatred and the jealousy, the, the possessiveness are thinking about uh, them and their family all the time and Try to get something out of the world, out of the society and not giving anything in return to the society. All these are the limitations. Stuck up with the cult or sect or a group or religion or any particular thing without any broad mindedness, without any universal understanding, without opening eyes towards the world. So these are all the limitations. So when once we, when somebody crosses all these things, enters into the kingdom of the masters or the kingdom of the angels or devas, there's only one thing that they concern about the people and purifying them and rectifying the problems in them and work with the people, work for the people, work for the nature, helping the natures or helping the at the globe or working with the great people. These are all the great qualities. So when we come to that stage, that is what we call the soul level, then what happens? If somebody read, read our horoscope, he cannot give any predictions. Even though he, he sees something bad or negative in our horoscope, suppose ill health, the astrologer predicts within seven years you are going to get this ill health, very dangerous one, be careful. After seven years, if we, astrologer and this person, if, if they both meet, then the astrologer asks, what happened to you? Seven years over. What type of ill health you are having? And this fellow says, there is no much ill health, but there is a small thing like that and uh, it's, it's, not, it's not bothering me very much. But uh, nothing happened. I, I'm happy. What happened? Because if the same astrologer gives a prediction to somebody who is an individual and personality level, mainly individual level, he is right. 
after seven years, seven years, definitely this person will pick up a serious health problem. If somebody is on the soul level, what happens? There must be a small tinge of problem, but he will not experience the severe ill health because he knows about that. He take care of the food. He take care of the he he takes care of the takes care of the routine. and he is not working for himself he is working for something else for a good cause all his spirits are in the higher levels not in the lower levels all the spirits and all his uh, uh, imaginations are all his deeds all his thoughts totally he himself or engages in the higher levels in doing something good to the others predictions fails that's what what master is telling here the planets generally indicate that there is a weakness or a weak spot in our throat then what happened there is a small pain in the throat it will be gone that's what master is telling here the next important the, the, the next most important thing is the master is dealing with the desires and the needs we have desires and needs mixed and confused in our life but the person who has gone to the soul consciousness knows immediately the difference between the needs and the desires We have to understand it very, very carefully. What is the need and what is the desire? Need is a common to everybody. Thirst, hunger, shelter, all these are the the food to eat to survive. All these are the needs. Desire means needs are the to the body either for himself or for the others. Need is a need to either 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 to us or to others also. Desires belong to the mind. in fact there are no needs to the mind at all the need of food is to the body though the taste of food is to the mind so the body needs if the body if the body has to be withstand it needs some food that's it the food should be a little bit tasty and mainly hygienic that is enough but the taste is to the tongue and to the mind and mind goes for too many too many tastes and then what happens the same food creates lot of problems to the body body needs just food that's it we need just sleep in the night to give rest to the body whether it is a very expensive bed or not body doesn't care mind cares you understand because mind cares for an expensive room and expensive bedroom and expen- expensive mattress and expensive blankets and all these things are the problem of the mind the body needs rest mind creates rest in the form of a sleep to the body because body has to rest for some time again to work the next day these are the needs so in the soul level people care about their needs they don't care care about their desires but in the in the in the name of yoga we will try to fight with the desires but we should not do like that we should not fight with the desires but we should overcome the desires that is what master is telling here on the soul level nobody cares about their desires and they care about their needs also the needs are same to everybody even to the bird and the animal and the plant are the human being the needs are the same the man of so the man of soul consciousness knows the positive way of doing things and never touches the negative aspect of his personality <laughs> when we come to the soul level the soul consciousness he do the things uh, with all the positive way of doing things he will never go back into the negative side of the individuality or the personality he is occupied with the needs either for himself or for of others and gradually he enters into the consciousness which we call pure love all the time he used to care for the people just care for the people his only thing in this world is just to care for the people he doesn't find any time to work for himself even he works to want to work even if he wants to work for himself that is only just to take care of the needs of the body or needs of the family that's it He is earning money for what? To cater the needs of the family or needs of his body or whatever it may be, 
and the remaining time he thinks about the helping the people that's it that's how all the masters they live i will give you a small example if you if they earn the money if you question them what for to help the people who needs the money if they are so strong in their health what for it is the, to help the people who are very weak he is having a lot of power authority in their hands what for with my authority with my power i can help many 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 more people that's it if he is having a good job what for to help the more people who need help from me this is so i had understand what they will get what they acquire where they are blessed things come to them as gifts either from the parents or from the society or from the job or from the nature or from the planets or from the god or from the angels whatever he gets if you ask them what for all these things his reply is only to help the people or to help the nation or to help the nature that's it this is what we call exactly the soul consciousness this is the all the soul level and personality level individual level all these are the technical words the real the only word is just pure love then he has no desires at all this is the way how the planets train us then you will find you even saturn to be a very good fellow and you will find even mars smiling with you <laughs> so at this stage planets will become very friendly with us then the most malefic planets what we feel as malefic about saturn and mars they will also become very good friends and they smile with us this is what mars is telling here he is telling very beautifully now the sun saturn approaches you and says my dear boy do not think then that i am a bad fellow it is only to bring you to the state of maturity that we had to enact a big drama and we are very happy that a creator is made on the background of the creator it is a wonderful passage you see it is a, we are very happy that a creator is made on the background of the creator that is our final goal we are we should become the creator made in the background of the creator that is our goal with with the, with the help of the spiritual astrology generally we feel saturn and mars create lot of troubles yes it is true in the individual and personal levels up to some extent when we come to the soul level when there are no desires when there are when, the, when there is no possessiveness when there is no uh, there is, when there is no itch to uh, entertain the power what we have with us to become to behave like a boss with our power with others when we cross all these levels then we are on the soul level then all the planets become very good friends even with saturn and mars also they will also behave like good friends with us that's what mars has written a paragraph here again in the mars's quoting lord buddha mars in his lectures most of the times he quotes lord buddha and uh, lord jesus so you remember that he likes this two uh, pers- uh, great uh, uh, personalities uh, uh, teachings very well in the language of lord buddha the earth feels the joy of heart heartpulsation when there is great joy we find that hair stands up on our skin in the same way the planet earth will find its hair standing up on its skin and breath the breath of fragrance of all the flowers whenever there is the birth of a savior the earth very much wishes that his feet should touch the ground that is what lord buddha says about the third birth of every one of us here master is mentioning about the third birth all of us we know about the second birth but master is telling about the third birth that the third birth is the birth into the soul consciousness when a when a man or a woman who are it may be when a human being comes to the earth or when a savior comes to the earth savior means he is by he is himself by a spiritual right when they come to the earth master is telling when they come to the earth and they put their feet on the earth the earth will become very very joyful 
earth always will be waiting for the savior to come to the earth to walk on the earth the way when something happens happy things happen what happens our eye, our uh, our hair on the skin i'm not able to pick up the right word about it when the hair of the skin stands like this with the joy like that the like that uh, this uh, earth also how that 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 type of joy when a savior put his feet on the earth that means when somebody is the soul consciousness born again on this earth that is the third birth to him third birth is birth into the soul consciousness that is what the nature wants from the human being that the purpose of any spiritual practice that the purpose of any yogic practice and that is the purpose of following the masters the following the great masters and trying to follow them with all our sincerity and dedication and discipline and above all adds from inside to work with the great masters for a great cause let my plan be an epitome of the divine plan this should be the thought this should be the will of us this sentence is from the invocation of master ek let plan be an epitome of the divine plan if we plan our life like this with this sentence definitely very shortly we, we will go into the soul consciousness with this a beautiful lecture is over the uh, 50 uh, up to 50 second lesson i explained and then this is the basis of the spiritual astrology i think you understand and you, you i think you understood very well and you read once again the book with the same paragraphs uh, the astrology an occult and spiritual perception the lectures given by the master be compiled as a book you just please read once whenever you find time you'll understand much more beautifully with this background of this explanation thank you